In this video, I will give you an example of how to use jQuery autocomplete in the PHP post data and force to pick up the value from the autocomplete in the input. So autocomplete is a UI in jQuery. You can give go to this uh, link to see the brief introduction. This is the jQuery UI autocomplete. There is an example here. My example is much complicated than this one. First, my data is from the PHP post. Second, the value enter here have to force to come from here, the pickup list. In this instruction, you can pick up any value, but my value have to pick force, pick up here. So, so this is my example. So if you pick up this one, if you modify anything not in the top of list, you say you need to pick up tag from the tag list. And it become empty. You need to pick a tag from tag list. return the original value so you have to pick up the list and this data from PHP post let's look at the code so I have two files jQuery autocomplete the PHP and text the PHP this is the post data here so this is jQuery autocomplete the PHP here you can download the jQuery UI or can directly link to the jQuery UI CSS. You need to check it. Also, you need to check it. The JS, you can download it also. You need to use the jQuery UI the JS. Here. So the code, I just simply form here. It's a form. The deep less input type text ID is text. Name is input text here. So we have input one is ID is text here. So we just call this script functions. This is JavaScript function here. Text autocomplete the autocomplete. The source is from text.php. So let's look at the text.php. Text.php is 2D array. We better to put one 2D array as label one is value here. So put a label value. So now you in the JSON encode a, a variable text. This to the array. We pick up the value here. The display in the input box is from the label. It's from the label. Value is the hidden value. So we use a JSON encode. Then let's look at that list of the complete JS. So we can use source from text.php. So this is the from JSON encoding here. So we can do the select. When you select the value, this you use a UI item label. This is a label or value we see. We can save this one. For example, you can do a post and PHP function. Now how to do this kind of force to pick up so i put a name here whenever you select something you put a uh, sign as a new name here so when you do the focus auto computer search this one is an old name so i put a color name put from this uh, text so if color name is not equal the select the names give an alert you need to pick up a tag from tag list and put it back to the text to the old name here. So you can get this in here A S S. You have to pick up here. You can see here you have to pick up from the text list here. 